situation arose. So I need to tell you about what just ha happened because I'm not here for it. Well, I'm here for it, but I'm not here for it. So I literally just got my Kylie package in the mail today. I will show you. I just received my package. I had purchased these highlighters from Kylie's website and three of them were out of stock or they were sold out within eight minutes of her launching her highlighters. So like, I could only get my hands on these three. I plan on purchasing the other three because I started a, I'm starting a highlighter series and I literally just filmed my Anastasia Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit review which will be up on Saturday and that's why my glow is like, Anyways, so I was so excited to get these, but I wasn't going to film my review until I had purchased the other three. And so I'm like, you know, I'm Jay chilling over here, like listening to music, getting all like glammed up, blah, blah, blah. And I'm Snapchatting, opening like my packages because like this is exciting. I live for highlighters. So I'm like, okay. Cool, I love, I'm so excited for this goldy colored one. Oh, it's beautiful, haven't even touched it yet. And then I'm like, okay, next. I'm so excited to take more pictures of this, blah, blah, blah. Excuse me, where? Brand new. Where's the highlighter? Pay $22 for the packaging. Wait, Wait a minute. minute. Who are, are you? Everyone has told me that emailing Kylie Cosmetics customer service and trying to get a refund or trying to get your money back is literally impossible and it is it's it's a stretch. So I'm going to do that right now and like try to figure something out and try to email them and try to get a refund or have them send me another one. But like, I was just so excited. But I'm just really kind of annoyed at the moment because it already takes so dang long for Kylie Cosmetics to package their stuff, send it out, have it finally arrive. First of all, I, I made the order the day it came out. It literally takes them like a week and a half to get the order ready. Then they ship it. Then it takes like three to, three to seven days for it to get here. Finally gets here and it's an empty box. So I'm like, don't get mad at me for being upset because I paid $22 for an empty package and now I'm kind of scared because everybody has said their customer service is cr box online because you know I was starting to like Kylie and you know I was excited because my friend ordered one too we were all excited we were like yes yeah, it's coming it's coming it's coming I get it it's empty I'm just like um I'm shook I'm shooken what do I do who do I call I was scared for my life I was like okay well hmm, hmm. and I should probably contact them right and be like oh you forgot something I heard that their customer service is really bad, so I'm just like, I don't want to deal with that, but I kind of have to because $44. You guys know I love Kylie, but look at this wand. This is a this is Kylie Jenner's makeup brand, and this is the quality. Hunty, no. I'm gonna try one more. This 
has never been used before. Oh my god. Uh, not acceptable. This is no hate whatsoever. It's just like when you're a multi-million dollar celebrity, why would you put anything out half-assed? And I've seen that she has mentioned the wand on her snap, right? It just doesn't make sense. Why are you a multi-million dollar celebrity and putting out something janky? Like the wand should be good the first time, not the second time you make the new batch. So what that basically tells me is that they half-assed it, put out the product, and then the next run, they're gonna make improvements. Be perfect the first damn time so every customer gets it. So, no offense to her, but these are garbage. I'm in a position where there's nothing I can do but make a video to show all of you why I do not support this company. Um, I wanted to try this on, and when I tried this on, I tried the lip liner, but then I noticed like the lip liner, it went down, so I started sharpening it, and I guess that the lip liner is not intact well, as you can see. So the lip liner is not glued. I do not want to touch it because I do not want to get my hands dirty, but every it, it's like this like if, I feel like if I try to push it down it's gonna break and I'm in a situation like this so I don't know what to do you know I contacted Kylie Cosmetics customer service and I feel like they won't do anything for me and what they said to me is very unprofessional and why I do not support Kylie Cosmetics so I sent them an email regarding this I put, I sent this on June 23rd, 2016 at 5.30 p.m. And it says, I purchased Candy K Lip Kit and lip liner is messed up. Whenever I try to apply the liner, the color in the pencil keeps going down to the pencil, which is not a good thing. Okay, and this is the picture that I sent them. Oh, it's not loading. Here we go. This is a picture that I sent them. As you can see, the lip liner is down, and every time I was sharpening it, the, the, the color of the actual liner, the actual pigmentation of the color, will always slide it. It will always move around, basically. Next day, I got a response. I, I, to be honest, I thought they weren't going to respond to me because I already heard about the, the, the Kylie lip gloss situation. 
So I got this email, let me read it to you and then I'll show you. So I'm going to show you what it says. So it says, hello Sergio, thank you for contacting us regarding this concern. All lip liners are filled to net weight. It appears your lip pencil was de de deposited deeper into the barrel, not to worry. You may sharpen your pencil to achieve desired tip length. We recommend using a well-fitting cosmetic sharpener with a fresh sharp blade. Ulta sells a great one. Unfortunately, we have we do not have a return policy, exchange or return policy. And let me show you the email. So you can go ahead and pause that if you want to take my if you don't take my word for it. So that's what they said. And first of all, let me talk about the email that they sent me itself. All lip pencils are filled to net weight. It appears your lip pencil was depo deposited deeper into the barrel. So right there, that tells me that that's your problem. That's not my problem, me the consumer. You are the business, the business person, the business people that sell products, and I am the consumer. That sounds like that's your problem, not my problem. I don't know what to do, guys. I don't support it, and I'm just making this video just to show you that. I don't want you to have shitty experiences like me and that's why the Better Business Bureau rated you an F in customer service because your customer service is shit. You know, I had a lot, like I said, I have a lot of friends, so countless YouTube videos talking shit about Kylie Cosmetics or talking bad about it because your products are not great. You, you only slap a name on it, change one or two ingredients and call it Kylie Cosmetics. One of the guards came up to us and guaranteed that we were getting in the store. They were like, I see a bunch of sad faces, but don't worry, like, you guys are all getting in the store today, guaranteed. We held off 1,500 people, all those 1,500 people are getting in the store today. So, like, that was, like, my hope. I was like, this is all worth it, this freezing cold snow. It snowed twice that day, also. The freezing cold snow, people complaining around me, like, everything. I was like, it is going to be worth it, because I'm going to be in that store. Also, I was, like, hoping a little bit that Kylie would show up, because she wasn't there at 10, 12 came around, she still wasn't there, 2 came around, she still wasn't there, you know what I mean? So like, I still had a little bit of hope, I was like, she's definitely gonna come. I was in that spot, like, after an hour, there was like a mother near me with her with her kids who she was taking to the store and she started getting impatient because she was kept asking the guards like excuse me are they letting people in like why haven't we moved no one is going in we just see people coming out because like every 20 minutes you would see like two people come out of the store so we were like what the heck like why is no one going in like we could see the door opening and people would just come out no one was going in of course this woman kept asking why are people not going in like why are we not moving we've been sitting here for two hours and then three hours so they were no help the guards were absolutely no help. They said, oh, they're letting in 50 people at a time. And we were like, okay, then we would be moving a lot quicker if they were letting in 50 people at a time. And why are only three people coming out every 20 minutes or so? And then also the two friends who I was with, Rachel and Rafi, ended up having to leave because, I mean, we thought we would be in the store by 12. I mean, if everything went the way it was supposed to, like 50 people in the store at a time or even 20 people in the store at a time with a time limit, with like a 20 minute time limit, we would have been in. A ton of people would have been in. Or it might have been quarter of three Kylie showed up everyone was freaking out people were pushing people were like I got shoved so far back because people were cutting in my section once Kylie got there like everything was crazy and literally she left her van and went right in the store like people freaked out just for like three seconds of seeing Kylie like she was in the store as soon as she got out of the van like so quick she stayed in there for probably 30 minutes I'd say like no one moved this is the door of, of Kylie's shop and I was on this side of the door and then on the other side of the door, there was like a line of probably 20 people and the guards claimed that that line was, they would take 20 people from the front of the line I was standing in and bring them over there and then funnel them into the store. But that only, I only saw that happen once and it was right before Kylie got there. They moved 20 people over there and then Kylie got there and then they slowly let two in a time. Kylie's manager or whoever would pop out and be like, okay, two more and two to three more people would go in. So it was just, it, all I can say is that it was so unbelievably disorganized. But like they told me I was getting in. They told me it was guaranteed that I was getting in. That's like what hurts because all day through everything, all the people around me complaining saying, oh, this is so stupid. Like not, we're not gonna get in. Kylie's not gonna show up. People talking, like bashing Kylie, just 
everything. I stood through it and said, you know what, I'm getting in, this is all gonna be worth it. All this crap that I'm going through right now is gonna be worth it when I'm in that store. So that just like hurts really bad. So at this point, I still thought I was getting in the store. Like Kylie was in the store. I figured, oh, maybe since Kylie's in there, they'll start moving quicker. Maybe people will be able to get in, get their stuff, maybe see her get out. Like I figured, there would be some sort of a system now that she's there. Nope, it got worse. We just stood there. They let in that little side line that was outside the door and then that was it. She left. And also what, what, oh, the worst, the worst, the final like slap in the face was when Kylie came out of the store. She ran right across the street to, cause on the other side of the sidewalk, they had another barricade. So like people couldn't walk in the street and there were just like fans who they weren't in line for the store. They were just like, you know, observing. They were just on the side, like, you know, waiting, hoping maybe Kylie would show up and they'd get to see her. Paparazzi were over there. People who just got there. <laughs> like, like my, Bubba and Tyler, a little bit before Kylie got there, they showed up and they were waiting on that side of the street for me because they assumed I was going to get in the store soon. So they're like, we'll just wait. So like people like that who just showed up were on that side of the street and Kylie walks right over there and takes pictures with them. It just, it made me so mad. Oh, it sucks. Oh my God. I don't want to get emotional because like, I spent all day yesterday being so upset about it. Just seeing her like run across the street to my boyfriend and my friend who were just there for me. They didn't, they don't know anything about Kylie. They don't care about her necessarily. And they just get to see her right in front of them. I was waiting there all day in the freezing cold in the snow, dealing with all this bullshit with the people around me and with the guards. I literally was standing there just to support her. And I don't even know her, you know what I mean? And it hurts because of that. Like, because I don't even know Kylie personally. I know half the people watching this probably don't even like the Kardashians or care about them. Imagine your idol. Imagine standing in line for something to support your idol or to get something that they came out with or to just to just to get a glimpse of them and you stand there for hours and hours and hours in the cold and then you you get nothing. That's what it was. I stood out there for hours and that's not even the part that gets me because I would have stood out in the cold for hours, no problem. But I didn't even get in the store. I didn't get any.